folks. Happy 2018. Hillbilly here. The first little uh, update of the year. Starting out the year right, heading out here to uh, Front Royal, do a little nice eight mile section here of the AT. Actually, already done a few years ago, but it's a real nice section. I've decided to bring my dog out for a hike. Enjoy this nice weather we're having in the middle of January. But yeah. So along the way, I'll probably talk a little bit about what's going to go on this year, some of my plans. And uh, thanks for tuning in again. Here we go. I just made it here to the uh, Mosby camp in the Tom Sealock Spring. Just taking a little break for the dogs. Water up about three and a half miles in. Uh, yeah, heading from 522 up to Route 55 in Linden. It's a nice leisurely eight miles. Me and Bruiser here have done this section many years ago. And uh, Homestead's adding to his. Uh, string of AT miles today yeah beautiful January day about 60 degrees can't ask for anything better all right folks just leaving the Mosby camp and Sea Lock Spring and uh, we're gonna stop for lunch here in just a couple miles at the Jim and Molly Denton shelter which is a beautiful shelter but uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about 2018 and what we got coming up uh, here on Hillbilly Hikes. Uh, got a lot of miles planned this year, just like we had last year. My goal is to get to uh, about 300 miles this year of the AT. Uh, we'll be heading uh, south for all of it. Uh, at this point, if you've been following the channel, you know I've done everything from uh, Penmar, the, the Maryland-Pennsylvania border, all the way down south to Run High Knob, about 687 miles. We're going to continue on south this year. Uh, starting March 31st of this year, we'll be doing uh, about a 105 mile stretch from uh, Hot Springs, North Carolina. And we're going to go north to Roan High Knob and get another big section knocked out. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, got a lot of new gear this year. I'm excited to, to uh, test out. So we'll probably do at least one shorter uh, backpacking trip uh, before we do that, just to make sure I get that stuff t uh, tested and dialed in, make sure it's all going to work properly for me. But um, waiting for my new tent to come in. I got a new tent. Uh, as soon as that comes in, I'm going to do my updated gear video, go through my whole gear list. Uh, I've swapped out a lot of items over this uh this off season so yeah we'll we'll do a video really soon going over that and uh, like I said in my last videos I still plan on doing uh, some individual piece reviews of a few items that uh, I either really loved or really hated last year on the AT but uh, yeah so uh, I know there hasn't been much content here in the past month or so I've actually been uh, moving my wife my son and I to a new home so that's kept me pretty busy but we're pretty well pretty well settled in now so it's time to start getting some boots back on the trail again and uh, get my legs warmed up for for springtime when we start doing some serious hiking but uh, yeah so I appreciate you guys tagging along with me again following the channel I really appreciate it uh, channel grew quite a bit last year more than doubled so I'm really happy about that uh, expect the uh, quality of the content to uh, keep getting better and I'm um, getting better at filming getting better at editing and all that sort of stuff uh, but yeah anyway I'm gonna quit babbling and uh, I'll see you all at the, the Denton shelter for lunch
Oh, Bubba, over here. All right, yeah, here we are. Beautiful shelter, cooking area, Adirondack bench, horseshoe pits, that's new, that wasn't here last time, but that's pretty cool. Bear pole, and uh, last but certainly not least, we've got a solar shower over here. So uh, if you're through hiking or doing a long section through here, take note that there is a shower at the Jim and Molly Denton shelter if you know how to use it. Yeah, we're going to stop and have lunch and uh, then carry on. I just getting over here to a section of trail that I really enjoyed when I came through here last. Uh, we're at Virginia Route 638 just outside of Linden. And the trail uh, carries on up this nice little hillside, this nice open hillside, getting you, giving you some pretty good views looking back once you get about halfway up or so. And then the uh, top of this hill, there's a nice little mountaintop meadow up up there waiting for me to, to come sit in it and relax a little bit so yeah always like these uh, little open open areas like this nice break from being in the woods all right folks just got here to this uh mountaintop meadow here uh awesome place remember finding this spot before I didn't know it was here it was a very nice little spot to, to run across uh, I got a little bench here to rest there actually last time I was here was a very mature apple tree here but uh, somehow that apple tree went back in time and we've got a very small apple tree in its place so I don't know uh, don't know what happened there but Anyways, yeah, we're just going to sit on top of this, this mountaintop meadow and just sit back and relax a little bit. Just take in the scene, take in the, uh, the beauty, the great weather. Uh, January days really don't get any better than this in Virginia. So we're going to soak it in while we can. Not too much farther back to the car, maybe, uh, maybe a couple miles at the most. But uh, man, it's been a beautiful day, a beautiful hike. Um, here's to a good 2018. All right, folks, we reached the end of our journey here. Just finished the uh, eight and a half miles to uh, from Chester Gap to uh, Manassas Gap. It's Route uh, 66 going right over top of us there white blazes on the pillars. Man, what an awesome day. Another beautiful, beautiful day. Like I say in many of my videos, good Lord always blesses me with fantastic weather. So thank him for that. 
appreciate you guys coming in for another adventure. We got a lot more coming in 2018, so appreciate you guys sticking around. And uh, for me and Bruiser, we'll see you next time. Go Billy Hikes.